but no. There Ladies isn't. and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is the collector of ultra rares who won't share them with you, bunch of squares, who is ready to seal the show with his samurai spear, who is ready to shove it up the bad guy's rear. Who shall stand up for the justice at the bench for the defense and let the ace attorney stream commence? It is your third favorite streamer on the call and mine, Cardwells. Hi, Card. Hello, Burst. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Finished my stream, finished playing a delightful little game, and I'm oh, yeah. ready to proceed with the professional voice acting. I totally haven't forgotten all of the new one, new voices. You were playing Storyteller. Yes, it is a beautiful and very clever puzzle game based on a storybook in which you're putting the scenes and the characters together in different panels to try to get a perfect conclusion. Ooh. It is an excellent game. It is only like two to three hours long, and it's $15 right now, so... I'd say wait for the first sale, but it is beautiful and excellent, I'd say. Very nice, very nice. Are you ready and excited? I am excited. And hopefully I have enough caffeine to be ready. That's okay. You can get yourself some more sweet, delicious generic cola. It'll keep you fueled for the entirety of our cases. I'm sure it will. I've got the strawberries and cream variant. Interesting. <laughs> You always have so some interesting experiment to get generic cola HQ. Apparently they do. Apparently they do. I'm still waiting for the torch flavor. I'm sure that one will come out very nice. I'm sure nothing's going to be cursed about that at all. <laughs> It'll just be majestic. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, let's pop back into. Are we about to go right into court? Is that where we left yes. off? We're about we to go right back with... into court. Previously on Ace Attorney, we found a child who is going, with their testimony, is going to make our client look guilty. Luckily, the police overheard this and have kidnapped the child to testify. We're screwed. Oh yeah, we're fucked. This is all your fault. <laughs> I, I, I didn't do nothing. I just was searching for justice. Look, I don't take any of the blame. You do. That's why you're my assistant. Oh. AKA, if you looked into the fine print of your contract, it says real title Fall Guy. AKA Patsy. Yeah. Scapegoat. You probably can't go to jail, I think. I mean, you almost went to jail once. We could do it again. Ah, dang it. Thought about Samurai, day three trial. October 19th, 1942. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait we, tra we traveled back in time because I wasn't paying attention. October 19th, 9.42 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Your Honor, I think we have bigger things to worry about, like the war. <laughs> mm. Yes, I see. You have been drafted. Enjoy protecting our country. No, oh, no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's not what I meant at all. Objection! Clearly on this piece of paper right here, it says that I am not fit for military service. I have been rated at an F. Hey, I think you got enough spiky hair up there to be considered a weapon. You've Luckily, been rated at an A, so you get to be... Underage ain't stopping the draft. You're 17? Hey. They're grabbing people who are 15. I've still got a year. <laughs> Again, you're 17. They're grabbing people who are 15. <laughs> mm. This is a good start. Um, Mr. Wright? Yeah? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's, uh, it's, it's nothing but a guilty verdict. Right, Mia? Maya? Not yet. 
Maybe uh -oh. should maybe stop lying to the client and just tell him that he's dead. She looks even unhappier. Fox. If only she would talk to me. Your client is a dead man walking. I feel like my client might practically be a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel so, pro so particularly close to him. You know, because you let me die. I feel like Maya killed, his, killed her sister still. I mean, this is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know, we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. I mean, look, I'm just wearing basic cloth armor. That's not even a plus one. Look, maybe if you had unarmored defense, you'd have a little bit better. I mean, you've got like, some sort of spellcaster, right? You should be I... able to use mirror image and mage armor. I classed into liar. Well, that I'm was here your for mistake. The role play. I mean, me too. I'm here for all that sweet role play. Necklace is weird. <laughs> You're boned. Yeah, boned. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, if you want a better defense, I would recommend something that covers up your vital areas a little better. But, you know. <laughs> Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, like he probably isn't at this point, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Maybe something overlooked. We have to find something Phoenix. Ta-da! Why not tomorrow? It's that or loves the trial. You're right. Many people have no defense against those necklaces. It's true. I can club a man to death with us. <laughs> this isn't going to be easy. Just like trying to go out for a burger with me, uh... Finally got it, and she got murdered. Even in even my luck was so bad that I couldn't even get that date. <laughs> October 19th, 10 p.m. Enjoy your date with the Losers Lounge. Hey, Tom Tom, that's not what you're supposed to say. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is fucked, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening murder, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studio. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. The murder? The murder. Very well, the murder. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mrs. Salmonella to the stand. Shit, what I give him for a voice. <laughs> Once you see him, the voice will come to you. Or that director. <laughs> will the witness state his name for the profession? How rude should you, could you get? <laughs> you don't know me? <laughs> I'm the director. I made the steel samurai new raffle. <laughs> Salmonella, <laughs> I'm the director of <laughs> the television. Were you at Global Studios the day of the murder? Y yes, your honor. <laughs> hmm, very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Fox. Boobs. Let's start by picking his testimony apart. Yes. You have to pick him. I I'm not touching him. Okay, I'm gonna start by touching them. Him. The necklace. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer did it that day. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Probably because of the pressure, of pressure she feels in that clothing and for a smaller body than she's used to. So much pressure keeping everything inside. <laughs> it's almost like it's about to burst out. <laughs> the day of the murder. I was at the studios from around 9 then that morning. I don't know why I said it that way, but that's how I said it. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run-through. It 
took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else was ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. How uncool! We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. What a bummer. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. I can smell it. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., and according to your testimony, you were in the meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yeah, Your Honor. Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh no, I, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry way. <laughs> yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. Hey. Still, for what? Flew? <laughs> FWIW, I was pretty busy all that day. Sad face. Tell us more about that. In the employee area? That guy's mouth shapes. He's like a teenage Asian Trump. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I feel like we dealt with something close to that in the last case, honestly. That's yeah. right. Uh, it was the fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Who won? Was anyone else at the run through? Oh, yeah. The security lady was there watching the whole thing. Lol. She's always so moist. She was cheering on Hammer, if you could believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? I heard that. No, just us four. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Oh, right. That's the limp. Which, of course, led to me missing my lunch, Ruffs. Ruffs? Rolling on the floor, starving? <laughs> what exactly do they have for lunch? T-Bone steak! The assistant cooked up some... <laughs> Come to think of it, there was a plate but with some bones on it in the employee area. Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat them. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Could you believe it? Sad face. <laughs> that must have been tough. Max. What? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't something seem odd to you? I mean, outside of his, you know entire thing. There was food over at the trailer. Was there? Wasn't there? I swear we saw plates of food over at the trailer bench. Right? You pointed out. I'm gonna say it's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. <laughs> what did you want? <laughs> Sweats. <laughs> When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. See, I knew it. See, look at that. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good call. Sweat. I I was embarrassed to I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. <laughs> Uh, a T-bone steak, you mean? Please keep your tongue in your mouth at all times. Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I had to get my tongue on it. <laughs> I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. <laughs> Clearly a man who likes to eat, I'd suspect it as such. Hey, what's that supposed to mean, me? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking calling me out here? <laughs> <laughs> so when exactly did you eat it? Also, hey, Plan Ordo, how you doing? Can one of my mods give Ordo a shout-out, please? 
Time to solve the mystery of when he ate some steak. Well, he took one break during that meeting. I hear I moved the town then. <laughs> a mental image I will carry with me to my grave, and you all get to have it as a mental and physical image. Because I acted that <laughs> I'm I'm glad I have the Discord feet blocked. Oh, don't worry, yeah. card, you'll be able to see me. <laughs> uh, uh... You're great, Ornell. That's fantastic. I'm so glad you're doing good today. <laughs> Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. Right I'll to press scared. on that one a bit more. Just like Ordo should press on me. What were you discussing? Steal Samurai story and our budget. Get this, the sponsors turn to me and say, Mr. Manella, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during that whole meeting? You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, yeah, not a one. Sweat. Hmm, what's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second! Maybe I do have an idea. And what is that idea? Wait a second, you just told us you did take a break to eat! <laughs> Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Did you just tell the court- Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops, they're awful! <laughs> Well, um... Mr. Manello, what's all this about? Well, I, I guess we did take a little break. Fox, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gotten to the studio during that time. Yeah, and someone else would have gotten a chance to eat the steak other than your sister eating it after the fact. Are you saying my sister did another murder? No, I'm saying your sister literally tried to suck the marrow out of the T-bones. She does have another stomach just for the marrow. I... I'm aware. Yeah, is this, this is ca case three. Yeah, this is case three. Your Honor! I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Eric! Tell us all about your bone. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Uh oh, Edgeworth is laughing. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to go into like old school arcade laughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, FWIW, we took a break, Ruffle. <laughs> But it was only a 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 in base 12. <laughs> Nerd joke, you guys get it? If you're a programmer or a computer or like numbers dirty, you'll get it. <laughs> Not even enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One. <laughs> I played 999, I got that joke. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Steam. <laughs> what is Steam? Ah, 999, another game series I need to get back to with you specifically. <laughs> At some point. You know, Steve, future. it's what happens when everything within your library just goes on sale and you buy it, even though you really don't uh, can't afford to play it, even though you have a giant backlog that you're never going to get to. Oh, you mean the backlog I've been cracking at on our stream? Because I got yeah. through like 50 games last year. <laughs> Time to get through 51. <laughs> well, if I do if I do less 100-hour games, Cold Steel, I'm sure I'll be able to. <laughs> Fire Emblem. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but I'm... But that's just me. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. How did you know it was 15 minutes? I saw it on the statue clock of the thinker. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Objection, it had its insides out. 
How did you know? Well, just look at it now. And it's just the thinker with the inside completely gutted, blown up. Gasp. The lighter was gold. It's because the lighter was made of gold. I don't even remember what the joke was for that anymore. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. <laughs> I guess it's possible time-wise. Oh, hmm. Edgeworth. Oh, Edgeworth. Hmm. Edgy boy. I know what you're thinking, and you're going to be wrong, as usual. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. Oh, right, the other one was Divas. Sorry, D. Vasquez's plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. To eat a T bone steak in 15 minutes, that is quite a feat. I mean, not really. If it's, if it's cooked just right, it'll like melt right off the bone. You can cut into it like it's butter, just wolf it down. You don't even have, get the hiccups or anything. It's very impressive. It's it, not that that hard. must have been a speed run in order I to. I probably could do it in five minutes. minutes. I can probably do it in five minutes. Oh, I swear, if you were truly savoring the delectable taste of a T-bone steak, it must take an hour. To I mean, I could probably minutes. do it oh in God. ten minutes, even with, like, corn and peas and, like, some cornbread on the side. You know, make sure you butter up that cornbread, too. Get it nice, you know what I'm saying? You're probably one of those children who gets the T-bone steak without the bone. Oh, no, I cut that bone off and throw it at people across the room at me who wear uh, a, sortly, a sort of like purpley red suit and, an, and a silly looking cravat. That was you! What? <laughs> <laughs> Two on stake. Fly across the screen and smack. How <laughs> dare you! Sorry, I still didn't make the sparkle bitch command. <laughs> I got this dry clean for this. <laughs> we'll get the sparkle eventually, maybe. It didn't get clipped, so I have to go back and find, like, the best one. Why is that? Haven't we heard enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor. The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, that's as critical. No, I'm not. Oh, wait, that's not what you meant, a, is it? Edgeworth just rolled a crit against you. He rolled a nat 20. Um, uncanny dodge. Sadly, that's not going to work here. Damn it. <laughs> Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went inside, went to the studio, went to Studio One? I claim it and claim it loud. If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, when, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for sure. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly possible. Hmm. I suppose you might say that. All right, I've got the judge thinking now. Hmm. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. Hello, Thanatos. How are you doing? You are about to witness a man die. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. That's Mr. Wright to you, too. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Got him again. Is this a one sauce? You couldn't have picked something with a full delectable taste and texture? Oh, oh, oh no, that's not a one sauce. I just used the blood of the cow. I can approve. And a little bit of garlic. Ah, I'm allergic. Garlic attack. <laughs> it's like a glitter bomb, but with garlic. There's always something wrong with Mr. Right. Boo! Boo! Also, hey, Thanatos. Hope you're doing well. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? I mean, yeah, I kind of have to. You completed that math course. Can you count to ten? Uh, one... ten. Close enough. Check out the court record, moron. The court record? Surely you know that from 2.15 to 4 o'clock, the path between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. How do you know that it was Mrs.? It's in the court record, and I asked them for their identity. Well, you're right. Through the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. You're okay, Ash, but you'll be okay? I'm sorry, bud. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey's head barred the way. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. Ha! Got you, Edgeworth! It's Mr. Monkey. Uh, Your Honor, I believe on that fact alone you should know that Mr. Powers is innocent. Don't assume genders. Somehow I feel no desire to correct him. Wait, but I just did. <laughs> no counter-argument, Mr. Wright. Not even gonna correct him on the gender of the monkey. I'm afraid you lose this round. Shit! I believe we've seen enough evidence. Wait, so fuck, I, I chose wrong for that one. Yes, you did. Fuck. Could have looked at the evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. Crap. What? It's over. Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of that costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it on that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have a decisive evidence. A witness. If I had chose correctly, would we have continued to push the director? Um, no, we would have gotten to this point, except we okay. wouldn't have lost, lost some health. health. Okay. Who is this like witness, they, Mr. Edgeworth? Like, based on all of the evidence up to this point, it seems impossible for Sal to have done this. Who was the witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment that the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Did you like that alliteration there? Order! I will have order about that alliteration. See, The court will take a ten-minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for the recess. Enjoy your time on the swing sets and uh, the slide. Please do not pee down the slide again, detective. I sorry about that, pal. October 19th, 11.04 a.m. District Court, defendant lobby number one. Tom Tom, were you just the detective? Absolutely not. I have not been spending my weekends having to get a second job working as a detective agency because someone doesn't pay his Tom Tom enough. I'm sorry, you were a one-time purchase and a gift. 
dot, dot, dot. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Fadox. I guess I was wrong. Mia! I'm sorry, what did you say? I was too busy looking at your, uh, necklace. I mean, don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? You're, I think we've established you're pretty hopeless. Don't, now, don't get me wrong. You're, you're okay. You're okay. Like, like a, like a five out of ten, maybe a six out of ten on a good day. Well, damn. Cut me deep. Yeah, well, I've never given up on a trial, I guess, before. Not when there was some chance. Only one thing is becoming clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I, I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, what's going to happen to me? Uh, um, jeez, uh... You kind of seem like everyone in that their courtroom thinks that I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Or your money back. Pay him back, Phoenix. He's screwed. He didn't pay me. Well, that's your fault. Pay him anyway. Alright, I'll take it from Maya. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the still samurai. Hero to children everywhere, after all. I mean, he is a hero. I don't know what a hero is, but he is a hero. Uh, you? Oh, thanks. You Me made him cry again. Ah, uh, it wasn't very hard. Okay, Fedex. Okay, Mia. This one's for the cuts. If that's the case, could I ask you to maybe put a little bit more on? Let's do it. All right. Yeah, wait, no. Your sister's body, no. She, she still needs another year. October 19th, 11.15 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number four. Thanks, Alexa. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. Isn't this T-Bone? Wow! Oh. <laughs> Got him again. <laughs> the witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case. We worry that the defense is going to be a big old meanie and cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Aw, oh, come on. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackens to the stand. <laughs> you wanna put... Poor child. Perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Take the one the detective's eating. Oh, why ain't where'd my donuts go? Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness. Who's being a big old meanie now? What, just cause you're all grown up doesn't mean you can put me around. Cut I? Answer his questions, Akar. Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackett. I'm in second grade. Nah. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth. Please remember that you're speaking to a child. 
try to be gentle. Witness. I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present. You were at Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Why did we let him bring his weapon into the courtroom? Please tell us what you saw that day. He told us that he might skewer you if you got too mean. Oh, okay. wait a minute. But I'm nice to him. I brought him Mia. I mean, Maya. Boobs. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps then with the beard over there? Just... Mr. I prefer being a gentleman. Very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. My apologies, your honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. Also, the sprite doesn't have a cameraless mode. I'd like special permission if that is possible. It seems like something you should have asked during the break, instead of playing on the swing set. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid, and you lost? <laughs> hey, I just got this new camera. I don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Fuddocks. Mia! I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. The murder? The murder. You'd better make note of it in the court record. Cody's camera has been added to the court record. Theoretically, it's not actually added in there because you all are golden. I'm sure it won't be important at all. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studio that day. I went through the woods off the path so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked right before my eyes. Out came a bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took a damn pack off. If I had my camera with me, there would have been time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. <laughs> this kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. I think I have an idea here, Card. I mean, Mia. You said he brings his camera with him everywhere, yet he didn't have it that day, and he told us when you talked to him back at the studio that he catches all of his final blows without a single miss. Hmm. It'd be a shame if you tried to press against that or tried to present evidence. I know, How could right? you have evidence? Maybe from the camera. Or the book. Hmm. Cody always carries it. I mean, we'll still press so we can get the press. You really like the Steel Samurai, huh? Of course I do. I take every show. And I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course. Duh, loser old man. My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. I mean, your dad sounds like a great guy. 
Was that the day, that day the first time you'd been to the studio? Uh, actually, I've been a couple of times. A couple of times? I never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. I really wish I could get the game a little softer, but that's okay. And that security lady is always yellow. Right, right, please continue. Chill Pops, I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk with you cutting me off like this all the time? Jeez Louise. Got him. T-Bone. Oh. Hey, kid, you want to help me with something cool? Ready? Get ready with your sword. And ricochet T-Bone. <laughs> Samurai Slice. <laughs> oh, now it's like two T-Bones hitting me. <laughs> nice job, kid. <laughs> Whatever, loser. That job. Ow! <laughs> that shot was one in a million. <laughs> Off the path. Yeah, you know how studios are in the valley there? Yeah. When I go there, I tried spinning. It was a neat trick. If you go off the path into the wood, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow. So what you're saying is someone from Studio 2 could have gone through the woods. No, the monkey block the woods too. Wait, what? <laughs> Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey. Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. Like your face. Got him, wait. So he went straight to the studio. He said that it wasn't broken yet, huh? You got lost in the woods? Yeah, but I wasn't allowed to see that movie. That's like PG-13 or maybe rated R. I don't know. I'm not going to see something like that when I can see something cool like the Steel Samurai. Yeah, don't worry also, about it. Honestly, Steel Samurai better. Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, was I relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? The Steel Samurai. Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy, a person, kind of tall, skinny, like you, you stabbed him. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know, he was kind of far away. Huh, he's being awfully vague. Are you what? really gonna let him get away with that vague description, Phoenix? I mean... You're the worst. Uh, what? <laughs> I didn't have the option to press him further. Sounds like a you problem. What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well... Well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I, I guess he's a real pro. <laughs> what a great actor. Yeah, I suppose he was. All witnesses should be allowed to have a katana. Is that too crazy a thing to ask? It for? might be a little too crazy. I feel like there might be some stabbings in the courtroom. Cody, what you just said seems a little strange. 
Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Oh my god! Someone with a bigger egg than Maya! <laughs> I'll just slurp that back in. <laughs> Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh. I was was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's um a digital camera, your honor. Really? What is it made of a T-bone? What I don't understand the words coming out of your mouth. Wow. Oh, it, it's oh, kind of a in my mouth. It's all kind, my mouth. Don't worry, I licked that one. Oh. It's like we kissed. Baka. What? I didn't want your T-bone steak, you baka. <laughs> it's not like I like you or anything, baka. <laughs> it's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain this? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on the trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? <laughs> Mr. Wrong. Mr. Wrong. How cruel you are to terrorize a poor child, so... I, I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? He said he wants to grow up to be just like you. Well, Only that cooler. Just means he's smart. Well, that's impossible. Well, Cody... What? Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? Got a problem with that? <laughs> totally ignoring that the witness is trying to take out his katana during the court session. So you did have a camera. And you did you use the camera? Why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. You know, mm. kids these days are too busy with their digital cameras they need to live in the moment man v very well please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching busy posting things on their myspace and their tumblers what what is and myspace is that like a live journal <laughs> grandpa don't call me grandpa i know how to use aol instant messenger yeah, you've got mail and you've got a sword in your face! You've got dads. I still haven't made that a command either. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find the audio for it just clean. Damn it. It's all about Friendster anyway. <laughs> watching indeed. Watching with his camera. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The Steel Samurai. He goes for the bad guys. Wham! Then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong, the steel samurai rules! Hmm. Ah! Oh, sorry, I was taking a nap. Uh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination of her, whatever the hell he was talking about. So digital cameras can be used to take those kind of things, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Thank you, Bailey. Uh, I believe that the witness just said the Steel Samurai rules. I think we can all agree with this. Case dismissed. All right. The Steel Samurai rules. Wait, but that doesn't mean... Okay, so Mr. Will Powers, do you rule guilty or not guilty? He's guilty. Yeah, you're not Mr. Powers. Nor are you the Steel Samurai. Oh, but I, I think I'm not guilt guilty, sir. All I, right, I was... not guilty. <laughs> Judge! What? You said he rules. <laughs> uh, he rules at stabbing people. But that was something that I didn't hear. So why didn't you use it? Objection. He's getting to that right. Relax. Listen, you don't have to press every single statement. But I do, otherwise we're going to miss some sweet dialogue. <sighs> um... You want to make out? What? I know! Not What's you, child. You? I'm looking at Edgy. 
What's making out? You'll find out when you're older. Mia, lady, can you teach me what making out is? Phoenix. Mia. Please don't let me get arrested. I mean, technically, you're not an adult. <laughs> I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing, man. So you were watching the Steel Samurai? Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once? No. Okay then, tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that, dummy. In other words, the kid was doing an unauthorized recording. Kid is guilty, case solved. <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. So the bad guy attacked him first? Yeah! I declare self-defense. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. Doy, he was a person, dummy. How was he dressed? I don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. What happened next? Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With a Samurai kick, Samurai punch, Samurai jump, Samurai slap. Just like I'm doing to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's yeah. being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Are you going to press on the ten-year-old? Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? Yeah, you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clear. He used the samurai chop, the samurai punch, and the samurai kick. Object ah. Objection. You know as well as I do, he's being vague. Uh, tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. A very talented one. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order, order, Mr. Wright. How could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phonix. Mia! Phoenix. Mia. Seriously, Phoenix? Do you Seriously, know the answer? Mia. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was playing with the new camera because he never misses the final blow. I'll try to present that and say what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna try to as soon as they let me. I believe you're on the right track with us. Thank why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? Because it was blocked behind a paywall because he wasn't 18. I mean... I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? 
Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Here's my proof. Cody, hold on a second. I need you to hold up your camera for me. Thank you. What's that, the camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Oh, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at a critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. You got an egg there, buddy. Sorry. Bullseye. What, what, what's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking, and not in that way. Good job, Phoenix. You pressed that child really good. You pressed him right up tight, I right up against the I bench. Don't, I don't like how you put that, Mia. That, that's... I'm, I'm um, proud of you. I pressed I, many a kid in my no, day. What? And now I passed on that talent to you. Uh, can you press on me? You're not a kid on the stand, no. But, but I, I was on the stand before and you didn't press on me. Or dead high. I feel like I would have remembered those necklaces. Oh, it happened. Oh, I pressed. Cody is lying clearly. Smart of you to realize there's no way he could just stand there watching as Harrow. And not take a picture. Right. Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, FedEx. Well, Mia. Well, FedEx. I'll bet you anything. He's hiding more than that. Have him testify. Oh, God. My dead friend says we should have him testify again. Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify one more time. Uh, very well. Cody, would you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Welcome to the real world, kid. No bitches. Yeah, you're right, Pops. <laughs> I just want no bitches put in that text prompt instead. <laughs> With Cody crying, looking at you, it's just sad that you have no bitches. <laughs> Little samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I, I missed it. That, that That's all that happened. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, anything strange with that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Wah, wah. No bitches. <laughs> Could you say that again? I just like to hear every time you say that I'm right. Pop. Just, just say that I'm right again. You're right, Pops. Thank you. All right, you hear that, OG? Also, Pops. I've don't got to have my pops. Yeah, I called you pops, you spiky haired geezer. Geezer. I'm Mr. I guess I'm the bearded something. <laughs> That's what I hate about you grown ups. You're also self conscious. Okay, off with the kids' gloves. Testify, witness, testify. You're also self-conscious. You're not. You're too afraid that you're going to look like a big old loser. What if you say, a... Egg Mouth? You're just a big old loser. Egg Mouth. Whatever, loser. I'll put on the boy for you, I guess. Egg Mouth. 
plush head. <laughs> You're just jealous my plush head is cooler than your hat. No, mine has like a little top knot on it. Uh huh. Because you top can't grow your cool. own. Oh. So you One did see the. Sorry. One day my head's gonna grow a plush even bigger than yours. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Well, uh, uh, I, I guess the still samurai was moving kind of strange. Moving strangely. So I held up my camera to take a picture. Yeah. Why couldn't you take a picture? Because if I did, it would have been evidence, and then you would have said, look at this photograph, and we all would have had to sing along, because everyone loves that song. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. When the lens opened, what did you see? Well, the person on the ground, the, the, the Steel Samurai. That's all. Yeah, I told you, I, I didn't take a picture. That, that's it. Hmm, I would have once I got the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? Are you going to press the child? Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody! Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture! E! E! <laughs> Thanks, Discord. Hey! Bullseye. How, how did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. W wow. This feels great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? I took a few shots. It was too late, so I erased them. You erased them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai victorious? Well, you know. Why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction sooner, or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. I fucks. know, it's the fucking photograph album that he gave you. Can you pull it out of your boobs for me so I can use it? Fine, just don't smell it. And I'm not smelling it at all, trust me. <laughs> what? FedEx. What? I was snorting cocaine. Ugh, FedEx. Dig up the dark FedEx. Find out what this cat's all about. Okay, but hold on, that really fucked up my sinuses when I did that. <laughs> you deserve that, FedEx. Really hard to do sniffing and snorting jokes when you have really bad allergies year-round, especially in the area you move to. Fuck. Snort some Claritin. Right, Pops. Uh... I let my camera to take a picture. Lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Took a few shots, but it was too late. I erased them. Objection! Cody! I in court a children's scrapbook. Cody. What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it up with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. 
I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow with Sam. I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ooh. Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Atkins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all of his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? The Steel Samurai had just been defeated, or had just defeated his ad adversary. I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. The fuck? Who just hit me? <laughs> How'd you like that? Tebo Barrage! Damn it! Oh, wait! No way! <laughs> have you realized something? I think. What have you realized that Phoenix has realized? Steel Samurai lost. The suit is Found missing. <laughs> because it was 100% based on my previous prediction. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit, ran into one of the people, I'm assuming fucking D. Vasquez, and she killed him! And then swapped the suits, incinerated the Steel Samurai suit, threw him into his magistrate suit, hence the no blood. Let's see how it turns out. Badax. I think we finally discovered the truth. It only took a bunch of T-bone snakes throwing at me all at once. And what a truth at us. Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court why you're having a conversation with that lady over there. Uh, it's a ghost! Now that. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photo he took? The photo was blurry. You I can think. By mistake. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Impossible, the Steel Samurai wins every fight. Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth, the bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N -n -n no way, no! It's impossible, the Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. My hands keep hurting from every time I do this and now I'm having a seizure. He couldn't handle the truth. Uh, 
Order, I will have order. Mr. Wright, please take a breath. Maybe drink some water before you pass out again. Witness, I mean Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. <laughs> Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. Right. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell! Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? And thanks to your barrage of T-Bones, I have finally uncovered it. T-Bone! I point a finger. What's this all about? There was no victim. <laughs> Hammer was the victim. Steel Samurai was the victim. Hammer was the victim. Steel Samurai was the victim. The, the, the Steel Samurai and the Hammer was the victim. Sorry, you know the one they want to hear. Steel Samurai was the victim? Steel Samurai was the victim. Okay. If you understand what really happened, it actually is quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and laid still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim! Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai! Order, order, order! So the Steel Samurai in this photograph, the one that always makes me laugh. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But, but wait, hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? The day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor Hammer? No. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole his Steel Samurai costume after sniffing his underwear for a little bit. Ugh. Why would Why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. Some people just have weird kinks. You can say that again, Phoenix. I get it. Wait, the kid gets the kinks? <sighs> I looked up some Steel Samurai stuff one time, and they said, do you want to be searching with the safe search off? Oh no, did you go to 4chan? I learned so much about myself that day. Oh no, you found the Rule 34 room. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. Uh, on the day of the incident or on the internet? Both. Oh, God. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Cody, I mean me, what? Actually, there was one piece of data that I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. So you didn't delete it. What? Tell us, quick. 
it was Edgeworth all along. <laughs> Delete the photograph. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No. Oh, sniff. Here, this is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't a decisive evidence, but I do see one thing I'm waiting for the game to let me point out. Yep. Sorry, this doesn't look like it's pr the proof we need. I'll give it back. What? FedEx, are you seriously so stupid? It, it, it's right in front of you. I see it. They aren't giving me the option to say it yet, okay? Sure, they aren't. Mia, what? Is it about the two? The Mia, two what? The two in the photo for Studio Two. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were about to say something perverted. Look at that photograph once more. <laughs> it does make That's... me laugh. That's at FedEx. It does make me laugh. The power of laughter will save the day. The photo is all the evidence we need to win the trial. What? Your Honor! May I see that photo once more, please? Certainly, I don't see why not. FedEx, look at this photograph. Show him! There's a glaring, decisive, and consistent day with the fox, as we know them in that photograph. I see it. Find the inconsistency in the photo. <laughs> Your Honor, look at this! Does it make you laugh? Because it makes me laugh. Edgy, does it make you laugh? I am laughing so hard right now. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? <laughs> The number. Ah, oh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. It looks like an S. What Studio was, S. What was the prediction you wanted? What you mean? What I what I thought was going on with this trial? I thought that it was D Vasquez from Studio Two killed him. He fell onto the fence's little bent, fucking spiky piece that's right outside the uh, trailer there. Burned the costume of the Steel Samurai because it was covered in blood. Swapped him over to the Magistrate costume. Put him back. That was my fucking theory. It looks like I was right. <laughs> Clearly not a one, Your Honor. Correct? <laughs> I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. Does it make you laugh, Edgy? Ha, ha, ha! What? That's impossible! Mm, uh, what's this all about? I'm sorry, I haven't been paying attention to this case. Please explain so I might be shocked along with the rest of the courts. <laughs> I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. It took place at the main gate. It was her all along. I'm kidding. Studio 2. Here at Studio 2. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Uh, Edra, why didn't you notice this? I mean, come on. This is an easy case. I was too busy staring at Phoenix's bloody knuckles. He really needs to get those looked at. Look, man, I gotta keep punching this desk. Your Honor, I find it very significant how, sorry, that the murder took place in Studio 2. The trailer is there? Or the path was blocked. I'm gonna say the trailer is there. If that's what you think it is. You're not gonna help me at all, are you? Of course not. You don't have the health bar here, so it's probably not gonna penalize you. Okay, yeah, good point. 
As you may recall, there's a trailer in Studio 2. Now on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There is a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating a steak. They were at the scene of the crime. Your Honor, I know how to solve this case. Bring your best necromancer. No, we already got that. She's right next to me. The path to the trailer was blocked. What? Unfortunately, the necromancer is distracted by Mac. I thought you were the necromancer. No, I'm the necromancy. Just so we have heard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess Maya is the necromancer and Mia is the necromancy in the same body. It's not a great necromancy ability, honestly. Because then you, like, look at her and you're like, damn. But then you have to remember she's 17. Yeah, we're not the best class to use in Diablo. Yeah. The path was blocked at 215. Ow, my hand and again. And the lighter was gold. In other words, the lighter was gold, and the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. Oh good, I can do it in this voice instead. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Yet in actuality, the reverse was true. Uno, reverse! I like that, Edgy. I only have a plus four color draw. Yeah, that's right. Get wrecked. Only someone in the trail only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. Ow my hand again! There were the only two they were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime in Studio 2! Uh, or order! Or order! I'll take some orders. Um KFC? Taco Bell? I'll take the famous bull. The defense would like to make the following claim instead so we can get back to the trial. Ow! The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. Objection, this is madness. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did it so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. I don't think we have it. Wait. <laughs> I forgot we found that. I have proof. You, you wait, you really do? Seriously? Uh, you're not the only one who hides evidence on the court. Do Mr. Wright. Now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. No, wait, I know I'm right. Phoenix right. Here's my oh. proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Whatever, Phoenix. My wrong. lawyer's badge. <laughs> this is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer before he sniffed his undies. Wait a moment. There was undie sniffing going on? Edgeworth, why didn't you tell me? It wasn't relevant to the case yet. That bottle, Hello, Kevin. That bottle does raise I'm glad you have arrived here just in time for the underwear sniffing portion of the stream. Yes. Sniff that underwear. That bottle does raise some suspicion. Yes, yes, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. It 
It's been three days. There's no way it's still in his blood. I'm gonna go fingerprint. An idea. Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. E edgy. Oh, I'm just glad it's the bottle he threw at me and not another stupid T-bone steak. I suppose you're right. That is a good thing. There's a lot of T-bone steaks laying on the ground now. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. He could probably do some good dusting with that beard. I mean, how else do you think we do the, the fingerprinting? I just sort of hold it up and then just go... Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> Sniffs underwear. It smells like roses. <laughs> this and if you want to put, if you want to hold something to your beard and go, make sure you do it with a nice, refreshing can of generic cola, which you can order from the Worst Heroes merch store. Yes, generic cola was what I was drinking all along. Ah. Uh. <laughs> this court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hackins' testimony has revealed many new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. You hear that, old bag? You kept talking shit about him. How dare you! The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two, old bag. And those I know in what the, I saw. And those in, you saw nothing, literally. And those in the trailer did have time to commit the murder. Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the samurai costume? Steal the steel, steel, steel samurai costume. Steal. Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgy Boy. Hmm. You will have to get grandma kisses. No, not that. Anything but that. Grand oh, Miss Oldbag, please. Grandma kisses to Edgy. Come here, Edgy Poo. No! You will also need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, your honor, I will make sure that he's super guilty when I get the new autopsy report. This trial will be extended until tomorrow with no new autopsy reports. Ruining all my fun. This is the last extension. Very well. Court is adjourned. Now, if you excuse me, they have a rerun of season finale. I've got to go watch the Steel Samurai. October 19th, 2.47 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Phew. That was a close one. They were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. <laughs> edgy boy, what? Edgy boy, what is the secret of your power? Sorry, I knew you were referencing Wonder Boy. <laughs> I thought seriously about going home about three times in that trial. You know, to heaven. M or maybe hell, I haven't really told you. Me too. I also would probably go to hell. Really? Oh. You both seem so... So confident. Ha! Ah, maybe I should take up a career in acting. No, you really shouldn't. Oh, thanks, Cardwiz. I thought I was doing a pretty decent job with our improv and with the voices I give. That was in character. Look, man, I'm just saying it hit a little close to home, buddy. <laughs> you could have believed in me a little bit. I mean, you are my actor friend. I am your actor. Uh, look, T-Bone Steak. Ah! <laughs> That's right. If you guys didn't know, not only does Cardwiz 
you know, live stream. He also has a podcast, the Emblem Support Podcast. But on top of that, he sometimes also does acting. Sometimes do his acting, and I have auditions coming up, and I'll let you know how that affects stuff. Hell but yeah. Yay. If that ends up getting in the way, I'll, of course, have to change when we'll be doing this, because I cannot do this without you. Time to get guilty. I was ready to pronounce you dead a few times there. My top. Dead. Haha. Of course we're cutting. Are you sure? Not really. I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers. We have to go make our final investigation, but I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right. Thank you, Sniff. Can you please stop sniffing? 